module, we will learn how to configure the CodePad related settings via the browser. After adding in a CodePad to your panel, you might want to configure as to how you want it to work in your system or displayed to the user. There are also some other settings that we will talk about. To start configuring the CodePad, we will go into the browser control panel. Once logged in, we will click on Advanced, Devices, System Devices, and Keypad. In this display menu, you can select which CodePad you would want to configure. Currently, it is selected on Keypad number one. From here, you can check out the CodePad's device UID, otherwise known as the serial number. You can also give your CodePad a name to make it easier for the user to know where this CodePad is installed. You can click details to find out more details about the device, such as its model or firmware version. In the options, you can change some things around, such as whether or not you want to use Tampa, if you want it to be silent, or if you want to use 24 hour time format on the LCD display. Some of the other settings here relate to how the LCD screen is displayed. Obviously, this would only be applicable to code pads that have a screen, such as the XR Touch. You can also change the volume of the key press whenever you press anything on the code pad. Some people do not like it when it beeps every time they press it, so in that instance, they can set it to zero. Click save and the code pad will no longer make a sound whenever they press it. A thing to note is that you can also configure these options via the code pad device itself. Configuring via the code pad would probably be more ideal as when you configure how the LCD is displayed or how loud the key press volume is, you'll be able to see and hear what you're actually changing. 